In today's video, we're going to talk about sticky chords. What? Yeah, I'll show you all about it right after this. Hi, my name is David Wallam, and welcome to this channel, which is all about helping guitar players around the world find their unique voice on the instrument to tell their own personal musical story. Today's lesson is one of these concepts that you can take and go so far. You can truly develop something unique with this. I'm going to talk a little bit about theory, a tiny bit, and uh, then we're going to get into the the exploration part of this lesson. This is really an exploration of the instrument. But before we do this, you can download the charts that are going to be useful later on after watching this video if you want to go a little further. You can follow the link below and enter your best email address so that I can send you those charts right away. All right, let's get started. Let's talk theory just a tiny little bit. Music, there are some things that you need to match together in order to sound the most accepted in order for people to accept what you're saying the the most in other words if i play an a chord that chord is made of different notes right now if i use these notes these exact notes to build something on top of that that works right now if i pick notes that are not part of that there's a risk that I clash with the chord and those elements don't match together, creating something a little more tense. Right? Sometimes it might work, sometimes not. Today we're going to utilize that. We're going to blend together scales, which I like to call musical alphabets, and extract from these alphabets a group of letters, of notes, to create a chord. And the beauty of this is that you do not need to know the name of these chords, as long as you know how to play the scales. Let me demonstrate. We are going to work in the key of A, and we're going to work in A Ionian, A major, which is a particular alphabet. It's an A because A is the first letter. It's the first note that we play. That's the one that is going to attract everything else we play. So if I play this note now, it's attracted to that. That note has meaning because of this context. So we're working in the key of A. Now that A scale or alphabet is made of the following seven notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I told you, you don't need to know the name of the notes. That is irrelevant. But we have seven different types of notes that we can repeat higher. and so forth, all over the fretboard. And it's that all over the fretboard part that is very important. That's why you need to download the charts. You will get um, some uh, very commonly used scales all over the fretboard. Now, the idea here is that if you, if you visualize that fretboard, um, the notes of that fretboard all over, and you play a group of notes together, that note, those notes together will create a chord that is extracted from the scale. Super simple, right? So that means if I look at, um, let's say this slice of the fretboard here, and I play in a caged system. If you don't know the caged system, uh, search Wallman caged, and you'll, you'll find a full lesson on the caged system on YouTube. And I'll link to that also. But if you look at this slice of the fretboard with these seven notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you focus on that. You can pick any of these notes. Maybe this one, that'll be a note that is going to stick. That's a sticky note. Imagine that you have a glue piece of uh, a little bit of glue on your finger. Ooh, I can move that and then you continue. And oh, that one is glued there and this one is glued there too. Well, these three notes create a chord that is extracted from that from a major, right? That scale. And the idea here is to play melodically and freely. Uh, within this full uh, fretboard and every once in a while stick some of these fingers on the fretboard uh, which which are going to resonate with other notes and creating a chord and a context and really a story so that's the idea so i'm going to demonstrate a little bit i'm going to play a little bit in a major here just a few notes single notes i'll stick this one and this one these three notes are sticky now. And these notes are extract from, from the, the scale. Different 
contacts all the time. The cool thing is that we are in A, which means that you can all, always rely on this open A note if you want. Now the A doesn't need to be the reference all the time. The A is a reference to the key. See, that note is not the A, but it still works. creating some organic things like this. Now, you might be, uh, if you're a beginner, you might be a little bit overwhelmed by the concept. Don't be, because you take this one slice at a time. This should be a fun exploration game. And uh, ask yourself a question. Do I, what happens if I use this as a sticky note? And then I continue. And what about this one and this one? Does that work? Well, it's always gonna be, in theory, it's always going to work. Do you like it or not? And if you like it, that's where you lock this to memory. If you like, that's how this chord was. This chord was born. But just searching, I'll show you this chord. I use this all the time, not to part of my vocabulary. But that was uh, that chord was extracted from that that little game of sticky notes. That fingering here is really really cool. You, we're going to do a bar here with the index on um, the first five strings. You don't need to cover the, the, the sixth. And uh, on the fourth fret, then we're gonna use that pinky on the fourth string seventh fret. The third string is fourth fret. It's covered by your, your bar here. And then we're gonna use our middle finger on the second string fifth fret. And the first string is four. These notes here, one, two, three, four, five. These five notes are sticky notes and they are found skill. And if you do this five minutes every day, you will expand your, your musical vocabulary quite a bit. You won't really have to memorize tons of, of uh, chords. You don't need chord books anymore. You can find your own voicings. And then if you want to go a little bit further, you can name these chords. You can figure out first what makes these chords, what intervals make these chords what they are. That's super important because that will tell you later on what scales can you use. As long as you've matched these intervals together, you will have a coherent musical story. The, the scale will match the chords. And um, all that is so much fun. And, and that's kind of what I've been using in the intro of my videos for the last couple of years just going off of that approach, not thinking in terms of chords that are learned, but creating chords on the spot and uh, see where it takes you. Remember, you can download the, the chart below. On the chart, you will have um, full diagrams on the, the full fretboard, different modes, scales, alphabets, the most commonly used ones. And um, they, you, can, you can write the chords that you encounter as you're doing this exercise. So remember that it's much better to do this five minutes every day than an hour a week. It's continuity is very, very important in music. Thank you. That's what I had for you today. If this is your first visit. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I release a new video on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you like what you just saw, you should subscribe and click the bell icon so that you don't miss any other videos. And thank you so much. Practice well. Remember, music is a language. It is your language. Nobody in the world can play the way you play on the instrument. This channel is about helping you bring that out. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you very soon. Practice well.